Hello and welcome back um, to this run for the Mediterranean Sea with Rome. So, I just wanted to show you that before we start. Macedon seems to be in real trouble in 34 months because the threshold is only 18.32 and 35.4% uh, of the power base of the country is so more than a third is uh, endorsing the. Um, can I see him? No. Uh, the pretender. So I should have a good show here. Not too long. If there is a civil war in Macedon, Egypt is defending it, but maybe I will be able to do something about it, like intervening with troops, for example. Uh, that could be fun. So, now it is time for war. As a great general said in another galaxy if you have troops now is the time um, I will reinforce this cavalry and those ones will go straight oh actually no let's um, do something smarter this one will go through there, but the second legion of troops of infantry will go... Oh, okay, so I will have to beat them to an... Okay, so that might become a very interesting war. Let's make some claims where I can, because... I have lots of points, so I can. Okay. And... Actually, I will just prepare myself. I will let the war start to see what they will do. If it's becoming a very strong war, I might need to change entirely my... Um, strategy and take the time to be their army in Italy. Or then I go this way. It will be a less large war. And I can do that in two times and it will be faster and easier. Yeah, let's go this way. And let's see. So they are not coming to help their allies there. That's good. Dark reserves there. Hmm. I still have lots of troops. Let's wait a bit. To see how it will go. I get a little more cavalry here. Sure. Hmm. 
Yeah, it will still be more money. Okay, here they are. Pirates? Yes. No more pirates. Starting well. Very good. Oh, come on, he's still here. Just set him in jail. Not enough senators think it's a good idea, but yeah, he's always almost dead. And they are sending more troops. That's absolutely. Okay, let's send this here and here. And now that I know where the armies are, I can attack in their back. Yeah, they had an army like a few weeks ago of close to 50,000 people. Now, now they don't even have 20,000. That's an impressive display of losing good people. Very fast. Can I try to go in here? Of course not. Can't even go there. Actually, why can't I? Let's kill some ships. Oh, they have lots of ships. Oh, that was a governor. Maybe I was too fast. Ah, he still went against the law. It's so actually something really great happened here. I, I just saw that just before. Uh, almost everybody's Roman already here. So that's what I like about Greece. It's really easy to make Greek people Roman. Every single time. No, I need to win this battle. And we got five ships, they got two. Okay, I must have taken one. Okay. Um very good. Now can I go there? No. Why? Why? Cat is high. There is a, a harbor up there. Right? Mm. I have no idea, but... And bark. Oh. It's because it's, it's linked to a region, probably. I forgot about that. Um... Okay, that's why, um, maybe I shouldn't have done that then, 
maybe I will give it. I will give this to your capital region. That's not my capital region. And by the way, I know that this will be changed in Cicero. That's good. Uh, one thing I would like to see is something like what Caesars did. Um, we we will probably need to wait for um, the 1.3 update in Q4 um, because what happened actually in Gaul with uh, Julius Caesar is that he was actually in charge of um, this territory, which was actually just there at the time. Um, probably kind of those borders there. And um, what happened is that there were invasion from the Germans that were going often in through there. Actually, I think um, those territories were considered by the Romans as Germanic. And uh, there was also some troubles with the Averni and other people here. I don't think it was the elevation, but it was a people that was in this territory. Um, I forgot the name. And and Caesar actually uh, answered to their plea for help against both an, an invasion from Germans and from the Arverni, if I'm not mistaken. And so he was able with just the legions that were in the southern part um, uh, of Gaul, which was in the hands of the Romans, he himself, without the acceptance of the Senate, he declared, uh, he intervened basically in what he presented as a peacekeeping intervention to help allies of the Romans. So he said he didn't need the um, authorization um, from um, from the Senate. But the thing is, he didn't stop at protecting his own uh, province. He started to go still with the idea that he would pre uh, protect the, um, the allies of, of Rome. He started to go all over Gaul, I think, in this kind of way. I'll just close that. So he started from there and did something like that. Um, then there have been revolts and stuff like that, and that's why uh, some senators considered that his war was illegal. And so what I would like to see, probably in 1.3, I hope it will be before 1.4, 1, 1. um, is at least inside a province, when territories are not controlled, like it's the case for um, Cisalpine Gaul for me, um, you control some territories, but not everything. And if the governor has control of some legions, that he would be able, without declaring war, to wage war by himself if he thinks that it's a good thing for his own province. Um, but I guess that's a very, very hard thing to, to do in a good way because that means that governors would be like almost um, partial independent nations and so in terms of gameplay probably it would be very, very hard um, to make it right. Uh, so it's absolutely possible that Paradox actually thought about it and tried to find a way and they didn't succeed for now. Um, but I'd like to see that, if it's well done. Actually, even if they try it and it's not perfect, I would not mind because I, because I would really like to see that. I mean, it's one. it was one of the richest and largest territories controlled by, by Rome um, uh, a few decades after the conquest of Gaul uh, during the, the time of the Roman Empire. So, it's not an anecdote in terms of history. It's really important. Hmm. Let's go there. Um, so since I can't do that, I will give them a new general. And I could send him to help if needed quite fast. 
I think this war is basically over. They still have troops, but to beat me they would need to control the seas. And yeah, it's not even okay. Maybe it's good enough. Good enough to beat one. He's still here. Can't you just kill him and make it an accident? Okay, minus 1.49%, uh, sorry, of his health. Um, hmm, in two years, I think we'll be dead. And there you go. Crucify the slaves. They want to be free, they can buy their freedom, actually. Okay, that is not good. Now all the troops are there. I'm still losing this battle. I don't want to send reinforcement for now. Let's see. It's so close. If you could win this siege now, it would be great! Yes! That's perfect! October 6th. Two weeks to... S less than one week. Oh, I do need that. Come on! One day. There you go. Fourth legion will stay here. I will keep the third. No, um, fourth legion. I'll keep the second and back up here, and the third will go clean things up there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I want everything. You cannot flee the Roman cavalry. That's over. Fifty thousand troops. Hmm. Still not dead. Oh, good. Got rid of pirates. Actually, are there pirates here? Yes. Another pirate even destroyed. Very good. No. Still have time. So those ones are. Still, one territory here and one here, okay. So I won't be able to clean everything, but that's okay. So, we will finish to clean this up. Hmm. Yeah, let's do the co console. Oh, I'm getting a better one, so that's good. Stay popular, please. Nice. I think I will send this core, uh, this legion, back home. Oh, no, actually, there we go. Keep those ones. Damn it, I didn't see that. Pirates? No, no more pirates.
This is now only a cleanup mission. Actually, this one's. Yeah, go back to Rome. No need to get some uh, attrition um, from just staying here. Oh, I'm closed. Oh, hmm. Mm -mm -mm. Rome grew too pow powerful for alliances. Really? Oh, maybe they. Oh, that's why. Okay. Phrygian revolt. That's. My closest arbor is there. Um, I think that's. Hmm, I could. Hmm. Why don't I get any negative effect? I mean, I like it. Don't get me wrong. Um, that would be really good. There's only Phrygia and Athens against them. Hmm. Let's finish this war in this episode first and we'll think about it um, a bit later. Hmm. Those guys don't want to fight anymore. They're not even trying. Mm, I don't mind. It's a good thing. Uh, the cavalry will go back. I will get this. Yeah, they're, they're broken. Oh, that means I might still need this legion here. Let's see what's happening. No, they are going farther than that. Probably good. Thank you. I think that was his last hooray. Uh, I think that they tried to go there. Now it is over. So let's get this. From them. And actually, maybe I can. Uh, you have enough families. Um, Uh, he's already really popular. Okay. Um, can I negotiate complete annexation? No, I need to get the other fort. They are probably going there, so let's send the army. I'm not sure at all, of course. And I will send my armies in Austria. So I can pick them up with the ships. Hmm. <laughs> yeah. Three, four, three months and a half to leave. Well, it's just cleaning time now, so um, I think I will stop here. So guys, thank you for watching and uh, let's see in the next episode um, what I will do. Um, maybe going continue to continue to go west here or go east here or go in the Levan, close to it. So thank you again and see you in the next one.